Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to plot a graph for accuracy and error matrix while training your model. For plotting a graph, we need accuracy and error values for each epoch. Best way to get these values is by using callbacks. A callback is object that can perform actions at various stages of training. For example, callbacks can stop the training, save the model to the disk periodically at the end of each epoch or at the start of a specific epoch. One of the callback history is automatically applied to every model. tf.keras.callbacks.history records the event. The history object get returned by the fit method of the model. Its history member hold the training matrices in the dictionary format. Let's see how we can use this in coding for plotting the graph. So we have trained our model model.fit x train y train epoch 10 batch size is equal to 20. Now this particular method is just uh, returning history object and we have to retrain our model with this modified code. It, we have specified 10 epochs so 10 times our 60,000 images will be taken into account with the size of 10 images for each batch. So that's why we are getting 6,000 6, over here in each epoch. 6,000 into 10 is equal to 60,000. Now, after completion of training with modified code, let's see what we have in history. History dot, we have history as a member of that object. So let's check out what is present inside it. So as you can see, the type is dictionary and it is holding first key as loss and second key as accuracy. For first key, we have 10 different values. Means this is loss for epoch 1. This is loss for epoch 2. This is loss for epoch 3. So on. Same is true for accuracy. In accuracy key also we have 10 different values. So first value corresponds to the first epoch's ac accuracy. Second value corresponds to second epoch's accuracy. Likewise, we have 10 different values. So now inside this history dot history, we have loss and accuracy values for each epoch. Now let's see how to use this for plotting the graph. For plotting the graph, we have used matplotlib. So let's import that. Import matplotlib as plt. Now, whatever the value we have received in keys, loss and accuracy, we have to use those values while plotting the graph. So let's plot a graph for accuracy. plt.plot, history.history, accuracy. So we will get... 10 different values over here and accordingly graph will be placed for it. The title for the graph can be given with the help of plt.title model accuracy. We will get title over here. Accuracy uh, is actually the label provided to the y-axis. Epoch is label assigned to the x-axis. It will be from 0 to 10. Now this blue curve is just indicating the training uh, accuracy curve and its location is upper left. By using plt.show, we can plot the graph and show the graph in inline way. Similarly, 
we can print a graph for loss so instead of taking accuracy we have to use history dot history dot loss over here rest of the things are very much similar to that of the accuracy now uh, for each epoch we are getting increased accuracy initially for first epoch we have received accuracy close to 0.988 while in uh, 10th epoch we are touching approximately 100% more than 0.996% similarly per our expectation loss is decreased with each epoch initially loss loss was 0.040 at 10th epoch it is less than 0.015 so from the graph we have learned that uh, accuracy increases with epoch at the same time loss decreases with epoch in this example thank you for watching the video